the event here. I didn't see... yeah. <laughs> Look at these, please, dear friends. Look at these sailing conditions. Aren't they just marvelous? And of course, since you're on the mountain, you're gonna have a what? Let me hear it, everybody. A stone golem. Right. That's like a kindergarten experience, but... <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Here we go. Look at them, just... 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 Hi! <laughs> Look at them. And eventually this happened? That was a Draugr Archer. And for some reason I thought he couldn't get me here. But he could. Hello dear fellow Vikings, welcome back to another hardcore permadeath run. Bow only challenge in the mountains. As per usual, stats to my left, world settings to my right. We were just hanging out, if you recall. In the last episode, we just finished exploring some uh, caverns here, some frost caverns in the mountain. Now, some things are going to be changed uh, after this episode, so this episode will be the only one that's going to remain the same. Yeah, we're, we're kind of cold. Let's, let's just ba get back inside where it's nice and cozy. <laughs> So I'm gonna go back to normal um, or live, live recordings. So you're gonna see my reaction to everything that's happening on the on the run. And I'm gonna just uh, cut off the grind from those uh, from those run or here and there, just speed it up. So I know a lot of you ask me to do this. So it's easier for me. This video is pretty long, and it has around five hours of gameplay mashed into under one hour of gameplay, so uh, yeah, just went exploring, looking here for some <laughs> caverns, haven't found any. Al always manage your stamina when you're climbing these cliffs, because, you know, we've talked about this. I, s I heard some strange noises here, and lo and behold, look what the strange noises brought me. Ta-da! <laughs> Another stone golem, great! <laughs> That's great news for me. I do love my stone golems. I do love to waste a thousand arrows on these guys, for no apparent reason. Yeah. And taking falling damage like a noob. But yeah, I wish they changed the approach on these guys. So for instance, you know, have some explosive arrows that deal some blunt damage or whatnot. The, ar the archer is really vulnerable against enemies that are immune to peers, because that's all you got. That's all you have, so you only get... So if anything happens when you have an enemy that's mean to Pierce, well, that's the end of the story. <laughs> that's bye-bye for you. Okay. New attempt. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with this guy. At this point I was really annoyed. So the stone golem is his everywhere. He's just climbing on most rocks on the mountain. So you have to be really, really careful with him. Yeah, there are some stretches there when you have a lot of holes <laughs> on your mountain and you try to drag them with a harpoon in a hole and trap them there. But I also want to hunt them for their trophies. The stone golem trophy is amazing. It's, it's one of the best looking trophies in this game, so I really wanted it. And this right here was a really close call. Because why not? <laughs> he really got close to me. So right before swinging, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Nice view here from the top. Just trying to find some frost cavern. They're really hard to spot. I wish they were easier to spot. Like, you can't spot them well from above. You actually have to lower down on uh, sides or cliffs. Get, get really dangerous and stupid situations. It's like the game is forcing you to die. So we all do appreciate when Valheim does that, don't we? Yeah. Back to base. Repairing everything because this was honestly not the plan, so let's just plant everything that we need to plant and store them in the chests really quick. Grab more arrows because apparently that's important. And see if we can, by some magic miracle, find another cavern. I did find this amazing tower. I wish there were more ruins in this game. I feel like the ruins are... Uh, are lacking here and there. Or I wish the ruins were more complex, you know? Like the ones they have in the Ashlands now. 
and they kind of forgot about all the biomes. So I, I, I think like I wish for the future, you know, when they finally fully release the game, to take care. Let's see if we can find some onions. So yeah, no, no onion. Darn it. So yeah, I wish when they release the game fully, and there's a surprise for me. <laughs> came came this way. To, to actually go to every biome and fix a lot of things that need to be fixed. You know, they should hold a meeting with all the Valheim players or the Vi some Valheim um, influencers there. You know, those with really huge channels and players with a lot of experience. Because uh, there are a lot of ideas. There are a lot of ideas in their comments too. So take care of... Uh, listen to your community as a developer. I know this is a small developing team. The game is amazing. It's honestly the best game I've ever played so far, hands down. For me, it tops Skyrim, it tops Minecraft, it tops Terraria, whatever you want. So, yeah, these are the stats. Just admire them for a second because you might lose them soon. But I feel like they have, they have to fiddle with a lot of uh, things in the future. Because the game still needs a lot of uh, attention to detail. Like, more uh, more crypts, like I said, more, more ruins, larger ruins, more interesting ones, that terms of world generation I'm not gonna lay them out here in this episode but uh, we might have a special episode for that when I ask you for your opinion on what you think the game should have for the future so just looking for Fenris here I love these elves they're really creeping me out see this was this is another reason for uh, having live reaction is because he uh, uh, <laughs> really got scared here it's different when you see the live reaction and most of the time I'm really super scared. Especially given the challenge, uh, or the magnitude of this challenge. So, good news for everyone who wants the live reaction. The assassin build or and the melee build will be on the live reaction too, so... I'm just gonna cut off the grind, like I said, and film the whole thing. So, you will be able to see... Every time I get spooked. Which is a lot in this game. <laughs> It's a lot, so yeah. I think this is the last cavern that we're gonna explore in the mountain, which is a bit sad. Same thing goes for the loot in the chest. The loot is really weird and poor. For instance, you find obsidian here, like, why would I need obsidian in here? <laughs> they could add some ingots and stuff like that and would make it more interesting. This was another close call, and I really grabbed my pants here again, because why not, game? Thank you. <laughs> Valheim experience. Casual Valheim experience. Amazing. Also, the elves, I feel they're really squishy. Like, you can shot with, you can one-shot them. So, uh, they should have at least the HP of a cultist. They're super, super squishy. Even the wolf has more HP than the elves. So what's the point of the elves? They don't have a powerful attack. They are glitching when they attack you. So, here, I was trying to lure the cultist, and it actually worked. It took the bait. And he went boom. Also, why the, what does the uh, cultist explosion doesn't affect you? Because I remember when, when I uh, played the assassin on the normal. Uh, ooh, that was scary. <laughs> when I played the assassin on the normal uh, world, or, or the normal difficulty. Is there another one? Yeah, the cultist explosion doesn't hurt you, even if you're close by. Bunch of them. Bunch of them. Bunch of them. <laughs> Like I said, look at them, they're, they're super, super squishy. They die in one shot. Basically, we're one-shotting them here. So this is the thing. In these frost caverns, you need to be really, really careful. Like I said, I'm only here for the Fenris here. So let's grab him and go. Because the enemies can hide in every corner. And it's kind of dark. Not Black Mesa dark, but still pretty dark. So let's see, sorting stuff in here, just... And yeah, by the time I went out, <laughs> it was pitch black dark. <laughs> so yeah, not a good idea to be on a mountain during the night time. You have those awesome werewolves. Now these are cool. Look, one here, here. These are super cool, and they kind of need two sneaky shots to get them. I don't know. I don't ever got close to them. I don't know their attacks patterns or anything. So it would be pretty interesting to see them in melee run. And of course, getting ambushed by wolves at this point, <laughs> uh, it's um, 
It's there. It's, it's a habit, right? On the mountain. This time there were three wolves. That was interesting. There are usually one or two. But I guess during the night. It also increases the night of uh, increases the chance of finding a two-star wolf. And that's a really sad thing for me. <laughs> so no, no thanks, no. I can I can I can deal with that. I don't need two-star wolf. I'm 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 good, I'm cool. Yeah. Let's just get back into the base quickly. I don't know why I made this climb so complicated. It's not like the Ooh, there's the golem down to my right hand of the screen. You can see it, I'm there. That's a stone golem, another one. So yeah, why why are the why have I made this? Let's get to sleep. Yeah, you know, I should I should shut up. I should shut up. Stop questioning myself and and get to sleep. Let's repair everything really quick. Deposit what needs to be deposited. My armor is really ruined and I can't repair it here on the mountain. So uh, I need to think about my time here. Yeah. Given that this is not, I I figured I. I'd explore another patch of mountains, so... Um, that's a blizzard. That's a blizzard coming at the worst time. So yeah, remember what I said about blizzards? <laughs> Don't get caught in one. Uh, look, now there are two wolves on me. Let's see if they figure this one out. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, this is too hard to comprehend, huh? Oh, actually it's not, they got here. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, let's discuss this. So, ooh, look, ooh, look, he's glitching all over the place. <laughs> Actually, that makes it more difficult to for me to aim. Yeah. So, you don't need 90 bow skills in here. You can deal fine with around 40 or 50. You can uh, you can be perfectly fine with them, with that. But the wolves can make it a bit difficult sometimes. Back into the base, because I don't know what to do at this time when you have blizzards outside. So yeah, I figured out, you know what? I shouldn't stay here on the mountain. Why would I even bother with that? And this amazing thing happened. We got an event, and I was really brave. I said, look, I'm gonna wait here at the event. I'm gonna wait out the event here. I didn't see... yeah. <laughs> didn't see that they have arrows. <laughs> And look, one Draugr staggered me, because I'm dumb enough and I'm not wearing my root harness. Harnsack, harnesk, harnsack. <laughs> you know, my root chest plate, or whatnot, armor piece, chest armor piece. So I decided to wait inside, obviously, until the snow is gone and blast the rest of them with arrows. And I was super careful too, because there are still archers down there, and <laughs> they can still be... Not one shot it, but two shots can kill me. So one stagger and one another, and if one skeleton shots me after a stagger, I might die. Look at them! Look at them! They're they're just there, bunch of them. So yeah, let's clean this mess really quick. So at this point, I was thinking about uh, going back, leaving this mountain. I know where the mother direction is. We have a mother stone or veggies of year on another mountain, so let's just sleep on it. Let's see how many days. I'm really curious about the days. Because we're getting close to the second challenge. 84 days. So we have 16 days to kill the mother. That's a challenge inside a challenge that I've imposed upon myself. <laughs> it's a silly one. I wanted to, to get to the mother. I was really cocky. Before we reach 100 days. In hardcore permadeath. So we wanted to get the mother too. Bone mass and the mother. Because we haven't got the bone mass either. But yeah, I was thinking about that, you know, why am I wasting time on this mountain getting Fenris armor and uh, we have a ton of uh, freezing gland for frost arrows. So it's time to go home, load everything in a cart and go home. So right about here, something silly happened. <laughs> I was trying to get the cart off the mountain, which the only normal way is to crash it down the mountain, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I'm not very good at crashing things. I usually take care of my things, so I tried to crash this one and make it go fly off the mountain. I almost flew down myself. <laughs> and, yeah, that doesn't work, so let's just push it. Let's just push it down. Away we go! Whee! And, yeah, it got stuck. It got wedged <laughs> in between two stones. 
So, yeah. Now, how do you get this unstuck when it's all the way upside down? This is super annoying. So I started pushing it around, obviously, and eventually it went down the mountain. Ish. Still not down the mountain. <laughs> just... It just doesn't want to go down the mountain, obviously, so let's just watch it destroy itself. I was actually surprised to get down from the mountain and find it in one piece. This was quite a fall, so this is not your small, cute little mountain, it's just a huge fall, it's a huge drop from this mountain, obviously. So uh, that's that, the cart is almost gone, but it's still, it's still surviving. I might actually place this cart on a uh, shrine. <laughs> you know, this is the most resilient cart ever. Okay, so uh, back down. I was on the beach in the dark forest. And since I have no map and no way to actually mark the spot where I left my boat, since I have no road, I was kind of scared. And I followed the beach, and lo and behold, oh, that's a pleasant sight. That's a sight for sore eyes. So yeah, let's cheer on it. <laughs> I did find the boat eventually, and now I had issues with loading the boat with all the loot that I have. Because for some reason I still have a lot of wood in the boat. And I was stubborn, I didn't want to get rid of the wood, so it took me around 15 minutes here to actually make sure that uh, I grab all the resources and place them in the storage unit correctly, right? And obviously the best thing to do is to sail in this marvelous weather. But since I had no time to lose, I decided to, yeah, attempt to go home anyway. So last time I tried to go home, it only went super well, right? <laughs> this time, this time it went just, just as bad, right? Okay, so I don't know what's happening. For some silly reason, I always get lost at sea, despite my tons of tips about landmarks and <laughs> navigation and I really want to do a video on navigation uh, in the future. Yeah, I kind of kind of get lost a lot on the, on the sea or yeah. And it was night time and this marvelous thing happened. Oh look, it's a fish. A really long fish. <laughs> so this is what I needed, right? A sea serpent at this point. Yeah, so it's not enough that I'm lost at the sea again with all the loot that I have on me. Now I have another sea serpent on my tail. So, you know, we gave him the usual arrow shower. So, uh, yeah, he was a nice, he was a nice, he was a nice companion. I also didn't want to kill him all the way down. I wanted to bring him close to the shore in case uh, he drops his trophy, because I needed his trophy, right? But yeah, he didn't want to come to the shore, so um, I had to take him out, obviously. Also need the meat. I don't know why I need the meat, but apparently I need the meat. <laughs> I wanted to have it. I don't know if I'm going to do something with it in the future or not, but there we have it. Look at these, please, dear friends, look at these sailing conditions. Aren't they just marvelous? They're marvelous. Look at this. I can't see anything. <laughs> this is so silly, so stupid. I'm actually looking at the shadows in the distance. Because if this were in real life, this would have been impossible to see. Now I can see why 85 days. <laughs> why so many, so many ships crashed in the past. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. So I thought, you know, this small island with um, pine trees it's kind of familiar, right? We've been here. So I decided to wait here until the fog clears. So I waited here for about six minutes. Because I couldn't find my way home. So I figured out, you know, I passed. I went through here in the past, right? I get, I got past those trees. So I figured out, you know, that might be the island that I used to go by when we went to fight the other. So that was true, and fortunately, after around two hours being lost at sea, or almost two hours, <laughs> I eventually found my way home. And this was a sight for sore eyes. So finding, finding my, finding our base and finding my home. Oh god, I had a lot of loot on me and didn't want to lose it. Let's just park the boat. 
and take care of the rest. In the morning, one thing at a time. Yeah, taking care again of my OCD because I need to have everything in order. So let's place trophies to go to trophies and everything. Yeah, we got the loot, we got the honey. And it was time to go home. Go home, right. <laughs> like, what am I talking about? <laughs> I, I've been so, so traumatized. It's time to go to sleep. Yeah, but the ground was shaking in the morning. How do you sleep in these conditions? How do you sleep when the ground is shaking? So yeah, quick event here with the trolls. Again, I don't know how many events we got where the ground is shaking. I could have had at least 10 fully upgraded troll armors at this point. Not that I needed them. So yeah, just normal, your normal trolls. I really took a stupid chance here. I wanted to... <laughs> actually got too close to them. And I could have easily died here. If one of these guys staggers me, the other one can kill me. That's the main problem that I have. Because we have a pretty generous HP pool at this point, but you know. Weird things can happen. So we did find some onion seeds. Obviously I'm gonna plant these. Just gonna plant them by ear. So eventually I got to the ship to get the loot and everything. And um, obviously after this I needed to get ready for uh, for another magnificent trip. But I had no resources for it, so I needed the freeze glands and everything, everything that I got on the mountain, in order to survive for the next thing that we're gonna do. So I'm not gonna spoil it for you, we're just gonna wait it out. And at this point, I think I thought about what Spazzy Games said on his channel about armor, so you know, why not boost our armor rate? Because I don't need the sneak bonus that I get from this, um, <laughs> from this uh, armor. So I decided to build the bronze helmet, to add a bit of extra armor, right? Wrong. I do have iron in my chest. I don't know what I was thinking about. So, you know, we can upgrade to Fenris leggings and the Fenris coat. Also, we can upgrade them. This was a huge boost. Yeah, we can upgrade them all the way up together to level 4 at this point. Of course, we've got another event meanwhile, so that's... that's at this point, <laughs> at this point, the events, you know, no longer matter. Up until we get to the next type of event, which is you're being hunted. That one matters. <laughs> that one matters a lot. So yeah, that was stupid of me wasting a lot of bronze, but it happens. That was to the best of us, so yeah, why not? <laughs> Eventually I got the Iron Helmet, which provides far more armor, combined with the Fenris armor, and eventually I got the Deer Cape. So we stood at, at probably at around 52 armor. Just clearing the debris, the leftovers after the event. So yeah, 52 armors is pretty generous. Given that uh, before before this I was, I don't know, around 40. Not even 40, I was 30 something. I don't know, I have to I have to look back. But yeah, obviously the armor just went up by a lot. So in the plains, I do believe I'm gonna go for my uh, root harness or harnessek or root chest piece. I swear to god I'm gonna learn that word. <laughs> it's super annoying. Yeah, obviously we're gonna... I needed the uh, the full forge. Also the forge bellows and everything. And we upgraded two copper scones. Why not? At this point. Because the other uh, torches were flying. Of course the ground is shaking again. Really? The other torches were flying through my resin deposits. So, yeah, we upgraded to that. It took me around one hour to do it. So, <laughs> it took me quite a lot. Yeah, I had to replace every single one of them and then fill them with resin. Not one hour, but a good 30 or 40 minutes. So yeah, that's that. And I was just waiting here for uh, those happy troll faces that keep popping here in the gap. I'm gonna call this the gap. They just keep popping here. So we just keep exploding them. Also, I like when the character does that. It feels like he's scared. He's trying to block, but he looks like he's scared. It's kind of silly. I wish he was blocking differently. Um, that was super close. Let's not do that again. And there's another one for some 
<laughs> Look, now he's just trying to leave. And he had a club. So, no thank you. Click quickly here, we're getting ready to sail, believe it or not. I'm gonna go full on display here. Believe it or not, I was planning to go for the bone mass because I realized we are uh, getting uh, close to the 100 days. So at this point I had nothing to lose but just go for bone mass. First we needed to find the bone mass. Now luckily that was a huge swamp and it had a lot of crypts. And being a huge swamp, it has actually a small chance of having the bone mass in it. But I never know, you never know what happens there, so uh, just needed to find a crypt and go for the bone mass. Yeah. The onion is not ripe, let's just sleep on it. And we'll take care of everything in the morning. So we got the food ready. Now I need to get the arrows ready. And boy oh boy, I need a lot of arrows. <laughs> but uh, it was day 88 and I had a problem. I had no obsidian, so I went back on the mountain. Another welcoming committee and I almost got bit here. Getting rabies before bone mass, it's a bad thing. Yeah, back on the mountain. And of course, since you're on the mountain, you're gonna have a what? Let me hear it, everybody. A stone golem. Right. That's like a kindergarten experience, but... <laughs> yeah, another one. Uh, just another one. I hate these guys. They're just a waste of arrows. And they're super easy to take on. Who in the right mind would go hand-to-hand -hand and fight him with a pickaxe? Why would you do that? They're so dumb and slow and you can just climb a rock. So, a ton of obsidian, as I said. I needed a ton of obsidian for the frost arrows, because I was planning to get the bone mass. So, checking again on the mother location. Obviously not on this island, or on the, on the next island. Because we just came from the next island. This ep the first, in the uh, beginning of this episode, we just cleared the next island that I had. So then the mother was not there. That means... She's further away, which is great. Bringing everything back home, let's just sort things out and start crafting a ton. <laughs> Literally a ton of arrows. Also get the onions going. And look, look, I'm not gonna even say anything about it, but you know, we're getting shakes. We're getting shakes, you know, earthquake. We're getting an earthquake again, obviously. This is just annoying at this point. With the trolls invading. I wish we had a different event. There's just trolls and trolls and trolls and trolls. And you know, it's funny because the troll is an enemy from the Black Forest and it can still kill you in mountain gear. Which is stupid if you ask me. <laughs> they made him a bit too powerful for the Black Forest. So up until you hit the... I don't know. Not even the wolf! I, I feel like the dead Skeeto is the formidable enemy that can top a troll. But even that, you can you can easily dodge roll a dead Skeeto. But the trolls can mess you up super bad. Yeah. I don't know, which enemy is better, is, is worse than the troll for you, let me know. Because for me the troll seems pretty overpowered, up until you go to the Mistlands. Maybe the Fueling Shaman if you get too close, but that again you can take them from afar so yeah cooking a lot of food here obviously we're gonna need a ton of it also I was getting uh, low on turnips so why not plant them <laughs> so we're gonna do it we're gonna have a huge turnip plantation look at a garden look at my garden you don't need a huge space you just you just need a small space it doesn't need to be around four four by ten it's perfect four by eight of course, getting everything ready to go and face the bone mass. Also, we're gonna need a ton of frost arrows since that's the only means I can deal damage to him with a bow. Because it would be so much easier to just defeat him with a mace. But since I have no mace skill, I'm not gonna risk my life fighting with <laughs> fighting him with zero mace skill, obviously. So still getting prepared for the swamp. You're gonna need to be careful about what things you bring with you. So this is our second trip. I no longer need the forge. I have the forge. I just brought a forge upgrade. So sailing back to the swamp. I know the road by heart at this point. I know how to sail to get there. I do love this type of scenario where I see a troll standing on a small island like this. It's so tempting not to blast him with arrows while moving. 
Yeah. I've been called the Troll Scourge. So, <laughs> look at this. Despite my um, experience with sailing in Valheim, this happened. I decided to take a shortcut. Never take a shortcut. Bad, bad shortcut. <laughs> yeah, I nearly got stuck there. And uh, now we just jump in the water. Like a noob. Because why not? Since we got here by the night time, I had to sleep on it, obviously, and... In the morning, still I haven't found the bone mass. 90 days! So we were 10 days. What if it takes, what if it takes me 5 days to get the bone mass? Also, the, the second reason why I was here... We did fight an abomination here. The second reason I, why I was in the swamp is for iron. I was lacking iron like a crazy person. Now, uh, both iron and I forgot to take ancient bark. So let's just take care of this beauty really quick. This does the way to do it. Stay on top of this crypts and he's not able to get to you like you can see here. If he's not able to get me, he's not able to get you. So map location already added. Let's see where. Where? There. Okay. Check with the stairs. We we'll go outside. And look with the stairs. So it says north. Wish from the island, I guess. North. So keep heading north. And eventually, look at this. Ta-da! Like I said, I was super, super pleased and super happy. Also, we need a lot of blood bags. So I had to stay here and farm leeches too. But with 10 days to go to the mother, now that we found the bone mass, I just had to take care of him really fast. So, also I love these guys. I just love them. They're so fun. They're so satisfying to pop from a distance. <laughs> they, they explode in a delicious jelly. Or ooze. Look, we had a two-star enemy. Fortunately, the Draugr doesn't don't spot you oh, unless you're super close. So they're not a really scary enemy. So yeah, now that we found the altar, I just had to build a super safe house on top of it. From where we can just blast him with arrows. And you say, you yeah, know, that's boring and easy and whatnot. But just wait and see. Things aren't that easy as you may think. Because so many things happened after the fight. Not during the fight, but after. So yeah, I wanted to get back to the base here, but it was too dark and I didn't want to risk it. So I was just gonna sleep here and finish the base in the morning. Here up every single resource, 91 days. Look at these guys, they're just they're just waiting for, oh ow. They're just waiting for me to get down. Just Welcoming, welcome embrace. They just want to give me a hug. A wet one and stinky one of that, but a hug no, nonetheless. Back to the base. I decided to grab the forge with me. Also the forge upgrade so I can repair my bow if needed. I don't know, never done this on hardcore. So actually this is the first bone mast. And the elder was the first elder I ever fought on the um, hardcore difficulty. So this is the first bone mast. And the mother and the aglet will be the next one. Same thing applies. First time having to face them off on hardcore. Because, yeah, they hit different on uh, normal runs, obviously. So about here with the shelter ready-ish. <laughs> Still had to fix some things. By the way, I placed the campfire in the bone mess skull, or this altar. I placed them in his eye. I think it looks really cool. Now he has like glowing eyes, smoking eyes. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. Fingers crossed, wish me luck, here we go. We have sacrificed his bones, his remains. But this fight was totally anticlimactic. Like one would expect it. Yeah, there we go, let's just use our... Um, stack of arrows to drain his HP. This is not a difficult boss, like most of you said in the comments. This is not a difficult fight. So he actually... He actually, uh... <laughs> took damage from the fire that was underneath the house. That's why you're gonna see him on flames. How did these two guys get up on top of my house? Look at that. There's a skeleton archer on top of my house. 
And I was worried that that guy might actually push me down to the bone mass. But yeah, no. Finally, the bone mass is defeated. Yay! <laughs> That's stupid. I should be happy when I defeat the queen. If I defeat the queen. Because then we're close to Ashlands. Oh, by the way, spoiler from me, I've never played one minute in the Ashlands since its release. So if I get with this character, yeah, let's just cheer on it. <laughs> if I get with this character in the Ashlands, it will be first time playing Permadeath in the Ashlands. So it was blind play. How did you get there? Oh, he was, he was on the roof. So yeah, blind play in the Ashlands. That sounds kind of... <laughs> sounds kind of silly. I don't know if I'm going to do it. We'll just see. We'll just see. I haven't played anything in the Ashlands. So I don't know what to expect. Are we going to risk it? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> it would be quite an interesting experience. But yeah, I don't want to die, so who knows. Eight days to go. With eight days to go, I decided to give it another go. Since I needed his trophy. We have to work on the trophy room. It's been 80 freaking days. 80 plus days. And I still haven't finished my trophy room. So yeah, after we defeat the mother, we can take over the trophy room. Because uh, after 100 days mark, I feel like I've achieved quite a lot. In terms of achievements, as far as achievements go. Same thing here. Nothing fancy, just blasting with arrows. A curious thing happened right at this moment. Pay attention, please. Obviously, I didn't see the event, so I started jumping down to get the resources from the bone mass, and just an event, a skeleton surprise, just happened out of nowhere, and I was down on foot. Thank god these were not skeleton archers, because at this point I would have been dead. Trying to get desperately back to the safety of the house, and pray to Odin that they don't wreck, that wreck my house. Because if they were to destroy my house, if these were skeleton archers, that would have been a problem. I don't know, do you get skeleton archers uh, on this event? Let me know. On the skeleton surprise event. I don't know. I haven't... I, this is the first time I see this event in, in my two years of Valheim. Because mostly I played... Um, I haven't gotten this far in, in Valheim. I've mostly played uh, during the on meadows and black forest and swamp, a little on the mountain. When I started to play the game, we didn't even have Yagloth. Or maybe it was three years ago. I don't know. <laughs> I have to check. Okay, back at the base, now that we have all the resources, almost all the resources, I don't have the iron. So uh, I had to find another crypt. And there was an abundance of crypts there, so we just I just went for it. Yeah. I needed iron. But you're gonna see. You're gonna think. Oh, it was so easy to defeat the mode the bone mass. The bone mass is super easy for him now. You're just blasting with arrows. True, true. I'll give you that. Bone mass is easy. You can just stay and shoot him with arrows. So the bosses are not a problem in this game, as you don't if you don't fight them in melee range. Ow, look at this, look at this. <laughs> so I just got, this just proved my point, because this was my point I was gonna make. So not the bosses, if you play an archer, the enemies will be your problem, not the bosses. If you're gonna play melee, you're gonna have a problem with monsters and bosses as well. But if you're gonna play archer, you're super super vulnerable to enemies. Yeah. As you can see, this is one of those dark rooms type situations. Look at the loot in this chance, man. It's annoying. It's embarrassing. So, a lot of... I think it was an hour, over an hour of grinding for uh, iron, getting every single mod scrap in here. And look at this! Christmas came early here. <laughs> look at them. Look at them, just... just, just, just. Hi! <laughs> look at them. They're just watching me. Okay, so let's just take care of them super fast. One star drugger elite. But they're just stuck. So yeah. And eventually this happened. That was a drugger archer. 
And for some reason, I thought he couldn't get me here. But he could. So that's my uh, HP going to half. For no reason. I was just silly. I could have died here. Again. So like I said, not the bosses, but the monsters can easily end you. And for an archer, having no shield or anything like that, it's far easier to die. I feel if you if you listen to me. Okay, so listen to me. As an archer, it's far easier to die to the monsters as an archer as opposed to the melee uh, player, right? Or a melee warrior. Because you have the shield, you have the armor. Of course, it's gonna hit you once or twice, but you're gonna have the shield, you can block those attacks. So the bosses will be a problem. I, I, I totally agree if you're gonna play the melee run. But uh, you don't find the bosses all day long. Those are small, isolated locations. But you fight the monsters every single moment. You have raids every single moment. So, overall, if you ask me, I believe playing an archer is far more dangerous. Yeah, for, okay, get it, it's easy. If you, uh, if you master the bow, if you know what you're doing, if you, if you can dodge roll properly. But, um, still, getting back here to the base. Because we got the resources that we need. I still have to get the wood. Right. I don't have the wood. I still have to get the wood. The, uh... How is it called? Ancient bark. Yeah. Obviously, yes. My OCD is hard at work at this point. Because I need to have everything in the right order. So, as I was saying, it's far easier to die as an archer. As, uh, as opposed to being a warrior. So I feel like your chance of surviving as a warrior are uh, increased. Because you're gonna spend most of your time on Valheim fighting monsters and being exposed to raids. So one shot or two shots, two arrows, and you're gone. Whereas as a uh, warrior you can block those shots easily. I'm not gonna spoil it for you too much, but I'm planning on doing the same thing for the melee run. So obviously the melee run will be next to this one. And maybe, maybe even, maybe we're gonna start the melee run before we're gonna finish this one. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that. To have two runs that run simultaneously on this channel. So start the melee run and uh, have fun with the melee champ- melee champion, really. <laughs> melee viking. Yeah while we're still uh, fiddling with the archer. Obviously not enough storage for me on the longship, so I need to get the card on the longship. So this is how I do it, and just create a small stupid platform, and drag the card on top of it, and land it on the boat. <laughs> Super easy, nothing complicated there. I'm pretty sure most of you have done this, and it's, it's relatively easy. Then just destroy the platform, and everybody's happy. Yeah. Now again, I just had to fit everything in. So, listen. Imagine, so I have my inventory, I have my uh, cart and my longship, and almost ran out of space. Three large inventories and I almost ran out of space again. <laughs> That's how many things I got from the swamp. Now it was all a challenge to get them back home. And actually, I almost got lost here too. 94 days, look at this. So we still have, what, six days to get the mother. Now luckily I know where the mother might be. So it's not on our island, it's not on the next island that's adjacent to ours. So we're gonna go further than that and look for a very tall mountain, because it's only on the tall mountains. Maybe we will be able to find it before the 100 days run. The only thing I'm worried about is finding her eggs. Those are super heavy. So yeah, finding the mother's eggs will be a challenge before 100 days. Preparing the altar would only take me around 10 minutes. I getting the flame arrows and everything will be super easy, but yeah. Let's just hope we found the mother. If I can nail this before 100 days, that would be amazing. At least for me. I don't know if for you it doesn't affect you at all, but for me, it feels like a challenge inside a challenge. So yeah, getting all the precious loot back home. Or attempting to get the loot back home, because this happened. A cold wind blows from the mountains. Yeah. This is the first time, <laughs> I swear to god, this is the first time I see this event. So we're getting invaded by drakes now. 
which is great. They still have, look at this, this, this base is amazing. They have a hard time getting into the base because of the uh, structures on top of the walls. <laughs> nice. So super easy event. Nothing fancy. Any, even if they're flying, they're just aiming at you. It's just one by one, they come, they, they don't swarm you. So I decided to wait out the event and just stay here until it was really gone. And this guy was really... So he actually didn't want to go down. <laughs> I think it was the last one of them. Yeah. I just love the way these guys fell down. These are some leftovers after the event. They actually started attacking the boar and the deer in the forest. That's how I heard them. So <laughs> yeah, I took them out. For the first time here, I wanted everyone to see I managed to get the cart inside the base using the normal <laughs> stairs. Okay, so placing everything in their appropriate chest. This was an insane run, so like I said, five hours of footage condensed into what? Around 50 minutes? 45 minutes, 50 minutes. So uh, yeah, amazing vlog, amazing achievement. <laughs> Look how it wiggles and how it moves. Yeah, <laughs> let's just wave at it. Hi! <laughs> That's silly. Okay, now we have the onion seeds, we're gonna plant onions, we're gonna have better food and everything. So yeah, like I said, next episode will be new format, live reaction, just cut the grind. Thank you all so much for watching, for being here with me. I'll catch you in the next episode, take care of yourselves, bye bye.